Elke Brooks and Lilac Wine, and you're welcome back. You're with Destination Newry, the morning outreach from the very heart of the burgeoning city and old town of Newry to the world beyond. I'm delighted to say that I'm joined by Claire Lochran. And Claire, we're soaring with you this morning, S-O-A-R. What is SOAR? Well, and SOAR is the Southern Organisation for Action in Rural Areas. Wow. What kind of action is needed now in rural areas? Um, the action we try to provide is to um, provide funding for people in rural areas to um, improve their quality of life. Uh -huh. um, I work for Newry and Warren Council and the SOAR programme is one of the programmes they run to um, try to improve the rural economy uh -huh. and um, we are funded by the Europe provide the funding for yes. this and um, we try to help rural people to yeah. improve themselves. And it's, is, it, is it a Newry and Mourne and Down District Council initiative? It is not. SOAR actually runs across Newry, Mourne, Armagh and Craigavon councils. Okay. And whose initiative so, is it? Um, it's a European, it's run by DARD, the Department of Agriculture. Ah, yeah. and, um, it, so in, in fact it's coming uh, from uh, the European community through our central government. Indeed, yes. Into the, it's filtering down through the community. Indeed, and it runs across all the countries within Europe. Ah. So they, they each have a different name. The one that runs in Down District Council is called DRAP. So we are I'd rather have sore than drop. Sore sounds much I'd nicer. I'd sound much nicer, <laughs> yeah. But uh, the, kind of, the kind of projects that people are presumed bring you the projects. Yeah, so we have all different types of projects that come to us um, looking for funding. So we um, have six different themes which applicants can come and apply under. So, for example, the first one is called farm diversification. Right. So it's to engage with the farming community, um, farmers and people from farming families who would like to diversify away from farming and set up a separate business. Can you give me an example of some I diversification that has occurred in the farming I can area? Indeed. In the Newry and Moran area, there's been quite a few now in, in farm diversification. We've had people, uh, farmers, who have decided maybe to set up engineering businesses. Mm -hmm. They have set up mechanic businesses. We've had some farmers' wives who've set up like craft businesses. Um, a lot of, in this area, uh, what's taken off at the moment is self-catering accommodation. Yes. So farmers yeah. who have maybe run down properties will do those up yeah. and, and and let them out of self-catering and especially around the Restrever, this area with mm. the mountain bike trails and mm. we're getting quite a few people into those. Well now, renovation, doing places up as you say, uh, that costs a lot of money. It is does, is there an upper limit on what people can get from you? There is indeed, yes. Um, the upper limit is £50,000. You should be able to do a lot with 50000 Although we, we fund at 50%. Yeah. So, um, if so we if I, if fund you fifty thousand yeah, pounds, we you, put, I you put have fifty thousand in. in yourself. Which is okay. It shows the commitment. It shows yeah, people are committed to their project. Yeah, yeah. Have you had? Uh, how long has this been going now? Uh, the source started in two thousand and seven. Yeah. And is actually finishing now soon. Um, completely? We are completely finishing. Our funding is running out. But you'll renew the funding? Uh, what happens is now with the council's merging, we're my merging with Down, there's a new programme being drawn up. It won't be called SOAR, but will be fairly similar yeah. to the aspects of SOAR. So that's currently being devised mm. and we hope it will be up and running by next year. Well, sure, that's great because it would be a tragedy if the good work of seed funding from Europe were to dry up. Indeed, yeah. No. Well, it's been agreed that we have a, a budget for the next programme and it'll run for approximately seven years. So we're, that's so, good. Yes, that's good. Yes, that's it's great. That, that is so good. Now, farming is one area of assistance in mm -hmm. the rural uh, hinterland and environment. Indeed. Take me into some other areas. So another one we have is uh, funding for businesses who are located in a rural area but aren't necessarily farmers. Right. So we've had people who've set up, for example, IT businesses in the rural area. Mm -hmm. um, we've had, again, we've had quite a few self-catering within that. Um, whoa, try to think. 
Oh yeah. We, we do marketing for quite a few businesses. So if, very often the man who is good at his particular business, yes. a new design of gate or some kind of engineering system that allows better use of the machinery on the farm, mm -hmm. quite often he's not naturally good at marketing. That's indeed right. So you bring him to experts. Um, well, what happens, we, we would provide funding, for example, for them to do a website. Yes. Um, because everybody needs to be on the web now. Yeah. So to promote their website, um, they can get bespoke training if, if that's what they require. Mm. Um, we funded actually a, a small business in Annalong who are called Willow Tree. That, now before you say another word, that sounds an absolutely magnificent and beautiful name. It is indeed. And what does Willow Tree do? They make bespoke um, wood products and they make, for example, chicken coops. Um, oh, they they make fantastic real products. chicken coops. Yes, real chicken. So coops. if I want to keep chickens, uh huh, I go to Willow Tree. Willow Tree, yes, yeah. Goodness gracious, uh, they're great, and we funded them. So they they had a marketing aspect for their yeah. project, and they did like leaflets and um, a whole marketing campaign, which we helped out with. So I suppose nowadays the shop window isn't necessarily at the front of a building on the high street. The shop window is the net. In, on the internet, yes. Really, these days, I think everybody needs to be on the internet yeah. to promote their business. That's well, the way to go. Thanks be to God I'm not in business because I have to whisper this to you. I'm not on the internet. Oh, are you not? Except here. I come in here and check my emails here. <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. It's, uh, it's the way forward. Right, take me into the next area. You said there were about six. Yeah, there's six. So the third one is tourism. <gasps> so trying to promote tourism in the area. Yeah, because if tourism comes in like the Saga Pearl the other Sunday ago, Indeed. that's lifted, the rising tide lifts all boats, Indeed. including the Saga Pearl. It was a fantastic event. Yeah, did you see it yourself? I did, I did, yeah. indeed, yes. Yeah, yes. it was great. I had the good fortune of being on board on the way up the lock. Oh, lovely. Coming in, we joined it at about half past four in the morning with the lock pilot. Just it came out of the mist and out of the darkness of the morning and suddenly it was there with the sun gleaming along the side of it. Absolutely beautiful experience. Yes, yeah. indeed. So tourism, what are you doing in tourism? Tourism, probably the most um, known project that we funded in the Nuri Morn area is Sleep Gullion Play Park. So I wish it you did that. We did indeed. Everybody's talking about it. <laughs> yeah. They think it's great. Now we part funded that. Yeah. Um, who was so your who was the, the other party in it? Uh, they're called Castle Blaney South Armagh. Castle oh, yeah. Project. Yeah. Yeah, so they've part funded it as well. And isn't it interesting that South Armagh and Monaghan are cooperating? Indeed, yes. So we're we're expanding fantastic. all the time. Yeah, it's yeah. fantastic. And did they bring you a, a design for the play park? It was the council who brought forward the project. Yeah. So they brought forward the design, and they had uh, consulted with external consultants. Never ever expected it to take off as well as it has. Really. Really. And what is the secret of it? What has made it uh, fabulous? I think it's unique. It's unique what in the area. What makes it unique? Um, well, they do provide. Um, play equipment for children with disabilities, wow. which is Thank one God fantastic for that. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God for that. And I, I would be up there with my own children, and you yeah. see so many children with disabilities, and the yeah. smile on their face just makes course, it worthwhile. Of course, of course, of course. And it's so lovely there, the whole business of... Uh, there's geotourism there, there's the lovely courtyard there that you can go and have a lunch or a coffee or whatever. Yeah, in. indeed. Nice, nice kind of family atmosphere up it's there. It's lovely, it really Absolutely. is fantastic. Yeah. Your kids love it. My kids absolutely love yeah. it. <laughs> mommy, mommy, we're going back to sleep. Sleep Gullion. Gullion, yeah, yeah. they'd spend their life there for the kids. Isn't that great? <laughs> yes, get, yeah. great to get them outdoors. And I suppose too, you can bring a picnic basket with Indeed, you. Indeed, right. yeah, we do yeah. that quite regularly. Okay, where are you taking me next? And another one. I must say, it's a very exciting journey you've <laughs> taken me on here. I maybe name another few of the tourism projects because yes. they're known by um, a great number of people. Um, there was an old corn mill down in Annalong. I know it well. Yes, we um, yeah. are funding them to do up the, the corn mill to bring it back to life and it's actually going to be a visitor centre. Wow. So there'll be information in there for everyone to read about yeah. the history of the corn mill. And so the wheel is working on it. Uh, the wheel is the being water restored. Wheel. Yeah, boom, yeah. Boom, boom. And then it restored. turns the next spindle and it turns another uh, another central axis and it turns the millstone yeah and they, they grind the corn yes yeah it's there a fantastic are. project and I, I suppose the part of my job that i love is going out to see these projects finished of course 
and tire to the desk. Don't let her out of Daisy Hill. <laughs> this woman loves gonna <coughs> Yeah, yeah, but you see what you put your heart and soul into. That's it, yeah. Delivering the goods. Yeah, it's yeah. fantastic when these projects uh, are so successful. Yeah, yeah. So So the next one then um is basic services in the rural community. Now what's that? That's Sounds a bit boring. of a mouthful. Sounds boring. Sounds boring, but it's actually fantastic. And what is it? Um it's providing basic services to like small what? communities. What, is, what are basic services? But basic services are the likes of um, a mother and toddler group, uh -huh. um, childcare facilities. Um, we, the, the community decide themselves what yeah. services they would like in their area. So, for example, we'll help them to provide a community centre or to do up their community centre, mm -hmm. and then they use that to provide their own services. Mm. A lot of them provide like luncheon clubs to the senior mm. citizens. Um, gyms is another one that they'll put into their community mm -hmm. centre for their own community to use. Um, so it's really whatever basic service the community feel like they would want in their it's, area. It's, it seems all of this is Commu all of it, everything you've been telling me right through from the farmers is community driven. It is, it is indeed. You right, know, it's, yes. not, it's not Big Brother Council sitting there and saying, this will happen. No. You open your arms and you say, come to us and yes. bring us your ideas. Well, that's it. And, and it's about engaging with the, mm. the rural community and asking them what they would like in their mm. area. And then they're responsible for what happens in their area. And a lot of the community really appreciate that. It's actually giving people an increase pride of place, Indeed, yeah. that thing of uh, to be proud to belong. It, that's exactly what it's about. No. And then they're taking ownership and they're looking mm. after their, their area. Of course they are. And you know, it's, it's rejuvenating a lot of the small villages. I, I just think it's so wonderful. And then we're, we're, what else have we got? We've got in basic services. In basic services. Well, I'll give you a few examples of what we funded. So um, there is a community centre in Drumgath out near Rafryland. So they're all very rural areas. There's one out in beside Kingdom Youth Club. Yes. The, the, out in Kilkeel in Denaval. So they have provided a community gym. Um, we funded um, an extension to the community centre in Burn. Um, there was one in Jonesboro, another community centre. It's mostly community centres under this that we would fund and mm. um, maybe extensions to the community mm -hmm. centres who are doing mm -hmm. really well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, do you have many? Before you take me any further, this is all success, success, success. Have you had any failures, which there, we don't talk about much? No, very few failures because we are there for the next five years after a project finishes to try to support them. We set some objectives, which we agree with each project at the beginning, mm. and we try to monitor those objectives and they're realistic, so projects are able to meet them. Mm. But so many people put their heart and their soul into these businesses and projects. Because they're doing it for and their own family. Exactly. And, and the families that make up community. Exactly. All together, and yeah. there's such well thought out ideas that come mm. to us that they're so successful afterwards. So obviously it's, it's not a case of a committee trying to invent a thoroughbred racehorse and coming up with a camo. No, it's it, not that it, at all. It's not. Yeah. And when the ideas come to us, they have to be much more thought through than that. Yeah. And yeah. that's that's how we make sure the funding yeah. is put to good use. Do you do a business plan as they well do. for it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, that has to work. Yeah, we go through a whole stage of scoring a project based on the needs that they've provided us with a need for that service in yes. the area. So it, it goes through a rigorous process. Lead me on, dear lady. Okay, so the fifth measure or uh, area that we fund is village renew village renewal. Where have we villages now? We would Mayo Bridge be a village. <laughs> Mayo Bridge is a village. Hill yes. Hilltown would be a town. Uh, Hilltown would be a town. Yes. Uh, Kilcoo would be a village. Indeed. Yeah. It's Mike just on would the border. Be a yes. I'm very good at that. <laughs> am I not? Yeah. So um, with village renewal, um, what we did actually under village renewal was. We went out to a consultant in the Nuri and Morn area who vi visited each village in the area and did up a master plan mm. of things <coughs> and improvements which could be made to each village. Yes. So um, <coughs> that came back and identified areas of improvement. And at the moment, we have a quarter of a million pound project, oh. which is across 10 different villages to renew them. And that's just in the Nuri and Morn area. 
And um, what are the what are the elements that are emerging from your consultancy? Um, there's different aspects. Um, mainly, what that project that I'm speaking about is doing is providing the likes of seating along uh, the streets and you know yes. uh, waste bins along the streets. Um, Planting, you yeah. know, um, and these are substantial enough things. Uh, like ordinary, uh, once they're in place, the community can look after them indeed. and service them. That, that's but uh, getting them there is a bit of hardware to be done. There. That's it. Yeah. And it's to make the villages, uh, revive the villages, and make them more beautiful wow. for tourism coming in as well. Mm -hmm. So the themes sort of mix match each other. And you see, I'm I'm squinting and looking back through the mists of time, and I see the villages of. Brittany and France and stuff like that, you know, and it's so it, it, this is where we're going now with yes. the whole thing, Yes, which is good. It's great. We're catching see. up with yeah. the rest of Europe. We, we know what we're about the villages, and yeah. it's, it's all good. So finally, finally, we have heritage. So we did some conservation projects in the rural areas. Uh, one we're doing at the moment is really interesting is the Mornstone Walls. Some of them are falling yes, down and yes. crumbling, so we're having those restored. Yes. And I suppose one of the really good aspects of this, uh, of SOAR, is not only are we providing funding to the rural community, we're also providing employment in the area. Because building community centres, restoring walls, yeah. it all requires people who are specialised in that I area. I was going to say that to you. Where do you get men who can, or even women, because women nowadays can do all sorts of things. Indeed. Uh, where do you get the people who can still possess the skills of stone wall building? You see, that, well, the rural areas, you never know what they're capable of. What they're up of. to and capable yes, of. Yes, yeah. So Hidden it is treasures. a rural company in Newry and Morn who are restoring the stone walls. Really? Yeah, it is indeed. Newry yeah. company? Uh, no, uh, they're from Addy Call, I believe. Addy Call, yeah, yeah. I believe. But should we, didn't we do the memorial in London for Princess Diana? Indeed, sure, yeah. we can do anything. We can. There's no problem. <laughs> well, listen, I want to wish you well. If people are interested in contacting you, what should they, how do they do that? Okay, well, <clears> we have two offices within the Newry and Morn area, one in Warren Point and one in Cross Maglen. So, um, depending on what area you're from, you can contact us. The number in Warren Point is 417-743-81. Or for Cross Maglen, you can contact us on 308-68900. We also have an email address, which is nuri at soar, N-I, that's S-O-A-R-N-I dot org. And um, you can also go on to the Nuria Morn website, which will give us give you the links through to SOAR. And all the people need is an idea. That's all they need is an idea. And come to us and we'll help you through it. Thank you very, very much indeed, Claire Lochran. Thanks, Rowan. Well. Thank, Thank you. Thank you now. Bye-bye.